We now want to hear from uh, some young people and a parent uh, who are directly involved in this situation. And this is some young people who are actually on the platform that night. And I'm going to ask Jack Bryson uh, and his uh, children if you would come forward, please, and address this crowd. So please all give them a round of applause. My two sons, they're not here. Father and Nigel and Jackie. My son, my oldest son, Jackie, was standing, kneeled right next to Oscar. He's the young man that jumped up and shot when they executed Oscar Grant, his friend. And my other son was on the other side too. And they also had um, some other friends. Both my sons were arrested along with three other young men. And when they were, two, they were arrested for six hours, they arrested the wrong men. The officers who were supposed to protect our kids, they should have turned around and arrested that. I was sitting and listening to the board officials. Yes, they're apologizing to Oscar Grant's family. That's necessary. But what they're not doing is not apologizing to the other five young men that witnessed the execution of Oscar That's Grant. Right. I'm not good at speaking, but I wrote something. You're doing well, brother. I like that. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jack Bryson. I am the father of Jackie and Nigel Bryson, who were with Oscar <coughs> Grant. On January 1st, 2009, along with John T, Mike, Chris, Carlos, Fernando, and Jamil, and Mario, and other friends. I want to change that. Friends, they are a family. Both my sons were next to Oscar when he was executed by the Bark Police. Now that I think about it, the time I used to talk to Oscar, we used to talk. I would always ask Oscar. I would always ask Oscar. John T, Mike, Jordan, Stephen, Rich, Louie, Feeble, Robo, and Josh, and Oscar especially, to look after my two sons. And they would do that, and that they would do. I remember one night, I was coming out of a 7-Eleven store. As I was coming out, he said, hey, Big Jack, what's up? I said, oh, what's up, Oscar? And we talked for 45 minutes about life, what goes on in life, the ins and outs, the ups and downs. Then he told me he had just had a baby girl. He told me he was going to be the best father, that he loved his daughter, that he was proud to be a father. Then I thanked Oscar for keeping his word, for looking out for my two sons. And with that beautiful smile of Oscar's, he said, don't trip, it's all good, Big Jack. These young men who went to San Francisco that night, they have a bond. They all go to have a good time. And they come back from having a good time on the bar. And all of a sudden, the nightmares happened. I used to ask Oscar to look out for my two sons. And not in a lifetime that I think this would happen. Like I said, Oscar, John Two, Mike, Chris, Stephen, Jackie, Nigel, Jordan would look after each other. But of all the people, of all the, of all the people in the world, I would never think, oh, excuse me, they would look after each other. But the police, the board police, of all people who were to protect our young men were the ones who would execute Oscar and shatter his dreams and his daughter's dreams of growing together and her, and her protector. I don't know what to say. I remember two weeks ago, I seen Oscar. We talked about sports. Sports. He was there with my sons, all his friends that were sitting there laughing, joking, just being young, individual young men. These ain't bad kids. These are good kids. So I asked Oscar, he told me he was a basketball, track star, baseball star. And I said, Oscar, because you made pros? And with that beautiful smile, he said, Yup. Well, Oscar, you are a star. You are the star of the whole world right now. 
you are going to change the whole world right now. I repeat, we will not let you down. We will not let what happened to Sean Bell, Gerald Hall, to the young man in New York who was shot 30 times. And many, many, many young men all over the United States. We will have justice for you, Oscar. Not injustice that these other men got. We will make it happen, so, so please, I ask you to keep your support. We, we gotta stick together and to make this, and to make justice happen. I also, I also want to let Bart know and the city of Oakland that this one individual has ruined a community, family, friends, that he has caused pain, sleepless nights, anger, stress. He has ruined the Bay Area community, not only here, the United States, the world. So we ask the city of Oakland to do the right thing, bring us justice to ease our pain. I would also like to take a minute, because when this happened, I didn't know what to do, but there's two individuals in this room that made it happen for me, and I'd like them to come up to the front. Andre Harris. I didn't know what to do, but after that happened, Andre has been calling me every day, checking on my sons and the rest of the kids. And I'd like to thank this young lady right here, Miss Blackman. She was named for it. I just want you to know the pain that this man has caused. The other night, it was like 3 in the morning, and I picked my son, I picked my young, my oldest son, who was right next to Oscar. And he was just quiet, he was in the days. So then, we were at my girlfriend's house, rather my fiance's house. And they pulled up the video, and we were looking at it. As he looked at that video, he couldn't believe it. He was, he, he's not, none of the kids are the same right now. And Bart has not reached out and apologized to any five young men. Both my sons and their friends were taken to jail for six hours. They had, they had my sons handcuffed for six hours. The mother was trying to call, they kept hanging up on her. They didn't treat nobody fairly that evening. 